A beautiful day outside. Everyone is really excited for Sound City. I'm just going to chill here for a bit and look through my Sound City app and plan who I'm going to go and see. So it's going to be a tough choice and uh, I wish I could be in 20 places at the same time but I can't. There's people riding bikes, there's people jogging, people drinking outside. What more do you want? And it's Sound City. Emily and Lucy of Stealing Sheep. Um, you've just come off your performance um, and it was absolutely fantastic. Hey, thanks. Um, I was blown away by it. Like, it's like in a theatre, it was in a the theatre, everyone was sat down, but it still had like a boss atmosphere. Did you feel that on the stage? I loved it. Like, when we had the dynamites on, like, all of our friends that are playing as well, that was, that felt really good. And lots of our friends came in at the end and danced. I, and... I thought they were going to do the conga. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, you're having a good time at the festival anyway. It's nice when um, you can, like, sort of, it's like a nice environment when you see other guys today because there was sunshine for it as well, yeah. so it was just perfect atmosphere. And we're going to go to uh, the Casme Garden now and drink lots with our friends. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully just have a jam or something. <laughs> I'm here with Esco Williams after a phenomenal performance in the garage here at Sound City. The crowds were going mad, they loved it. Like, yo, it seemed like everyone in the audience seemed like a proper music lover. Yeah. Like the room was just full of like people that just like music, like love music. Yeah. I've never I've never felt like a vibe like that before. Like it wasn't just a party thing, it was just we love music. Yeah. You know? I think I think I got that feel about this whole like the Sound City in general. I got that like that feel from it, do you know what I mean? That's what it's it's like. all music lovers and it's like they go and see different people who they wouldn't usually go and see maybe and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, people cool, that you've never it? heard of, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go see that one, that yeah. sounds interesting, let's get involved and get stuck in. Like I've got this three three day pass. I'm milking this. Yeah. You gotta milk it, you gotta milk it. Yeah. Last time we spoke to you, you were about to go and do the Mobos, I think it was. That was last time. It feels like ages yeah, ago was now. Was it last time? That was like winter. Oh God, I know. Even though it's, it's, only been, it's only been like not months. winter for like a few couple of days, hasn't it? It's been yeah. sunny for two days, but... <laughs> okay, well, that was like winter. <laughs> I know, but yeah, you've just been chocker since then. We've been all over the place, we've been on tour, we've been doing the school tour with the Andy Walker Foundation. Ooh. Since then we had an album signed in Japan, I'm blessed. Yeah, the escapades are multiplying, aren't they? <laughs> yeah! I'm on to it. Oh, no, but I'm just made up every time I see you. Just bl you blow everyone away, and it's like I feel like I don't know because you're from Liverpool. Like, yeah, we 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 knew about him ages ago. Yeah, we knew. We're on it. We're, we're, we, yeah, we're like this now because yeah, we were on it. We, we love seeing each other do well. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. I'm like keeping up with Kelly with a new map, new microphone, new cool gadgets, <laughs> and high definition video. She's everywhere. It's like, where girl? Like you be like you be cousin or something? You yeah. know what I mean? That's what it feels like though when you see like oh it's it's like a nice do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I it's boss. It. Uh, you, you don't have to. It's a scouse. Know, it's a scouse thing. Know. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're not from Liverpool, you you might not get it. Know, so it's so it's about you. <laughs> oh, well, amazing performance yet again, Thank and you um, I'm sure we'll see you very soon. Hopefully, yep. it won't be too long. Hopefully, it won't be next winter. <laughs> yeah. I am here with my friends, the beautiful Taylor Farless. <laughs> You've had a bit of a, a mad year. Oh, oh, it's been amazing. Like, Heartlight, the song did so well. And all the reaction on Twitter and YouTube and, every, and Facebook that it's got. It's, it's just hard to adjust to since I've come from, like, not on to that. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. So, yeah, it's, it's yeah. overwhelming, but it's, it's yeah. really good. I remember when you performed when we did that, um, 
Do we at that night in it? We in it, see you soon. Yeah, and you sang now. I was like, oh my god, this girl is gonna be huge. <laughs> Everyone was just like, <gasps> oh, thank and you. Georgina was like crying. <laughs> oh. I believe that you actually did bathroom boat clubs for Paloma Faith. I did, yeah. That was my initial like move to London and the way to kind of like gain the experience without the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I started off here in Liverpool at home um, with an a cappella choir and they were all here tonight, so it was the best welcome home because I haven't been home for like eight months, so sure. yeah, it's uh, been a long time. I'm an event to come home to as well. Perfect. Um, so I'm here with Dan Smith um, from Bastille. Um, Dan, you're here in Liverpool for Sound City. Have you ever been to Liverpool before? Um, yes. Yeah, we, we, we played here on every tour that we've done. Really? Mm. And how does the Liverpool audience compare with... Um, it's wicked, other actually. Audience? It's really, really cool. The crowd were amazing. It was the first night of our tour. Everyone was jumping up and down. Yeah, it was, it was such a nice way to start. Well, um, have a good performance later. I think I'll... If I'm still on my feet, then I'll definitely be there. So, <laughs> I'll, I'm th I know. I'm just outside the Blackie and I'm going to go and head over there now, see what's going on, go and enjoy some of the boss acts that have got performing there, all from Liverpool. So I'm with Tim from the T Street Band, You've played before at Town City. Yeah, I've played uh, last year at the garage, the Red Bull garage, sunk about four, four on the cans of Red Bull. <laughs> was, was pumped. What are your plans? What have you What have you been up to? What the band's been doing? Um, we're doing like a, um, we've done an album, record an album, and um, we're doing like a pledge thing for that. We've just come up back off tour, and that's all I can remember. But really, I can't <laughs> can't remember anything else. That's fine. That's all we need to know. Yeah, that's right. I've just woke up about at twenty past ten. I got out of bed, and I was like, I'll get down and. I see what's happening, I'm just sitting in here writing the set and just yeah. like... It's, I like the way the green room's actually green for once. What colour green is that though? Is that like I'd say that was a lime... Pistachio. Pistachio? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more like a... Olive. Yeah. See, olive, yeah. Well, maybe we'll get to the bottom of that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> from all corners of the earth, haven't you, to, to form. What brought you all to Liverpool together to start off this, the, the band? To yeah, start good off? question. Well, uh, so we're from five different countries and basically we all just wanted to go to school to learn how to improve our craft and get better at what we do. So I came to work on my songwriting and the rest is history. Amazing, like how Robert and I really like met. We actually have common friends because I went to Canada like two years ago and then we found out when we came to Liverpool that we actually have common friends. Wow, smash! That is bizarre, isn't it? It's such a small world. They say like Liverpool is like quite yeah. a, a close community. Um, I think an event like this introduces a lot of people to you. Yeah, people who maybe wouldn't necessarily know about you can get get the chance to see you. Yeah, we were just joking about this the other day. We were saying that like, usually we have like a very large student crowd that comes out, but I think a lot of students are too cheap to pay for Sound City. <laughs> so they don't come, which is good, because then we get to see like new people and we get, you know, like an older crowd generally. And Right, I'm here with two of the beautiful boys from The Hummingbirds. So what have you been up to since last spoke to you? Got a single coming out, which is Emma, on the 15th of July. Got a release show on the 12th of July in the Casmere. Um, tickets are going fast. Yeah. Oh God, I better get mine then. No, yeah, you're on the guest list. We need you there. Good. Best of Sound City, there you go. That's John Paul Howie, everyone. Names and shames him. Yeah, hey! Someone's different throughout him since last time I've seen him, and I think it's to do with your moustache. Okay. What made you go that? Yes. No, I just uh, <laughs> Mover, no, uh, Movember, and then I, st I kept him. I think it's too chair, I'll be honest. <laughs> What's your favourite moment in Sound City? Uh, apart from your performance just then, which and this interview, apart from that, um, I loved Esco, I loved Stealing Sheep in the Epstein. You were there for that as well, weren't you? I think I've seen you there as well just then in the Leaf, um, what do you call it, Highfield? I was sick. Did you, did you see the chase? Oh my god. 
Holland. Great song. It was boss. I was like, because I like, I've, I've, I've heard of them, but I've never like seen them before. And I've seen them, and I was just like, wow, they were sick. You need to talk a bit slower. Can't keep up, would you? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, boys. Enjoy the rest of your um, sound city. Have fun. Click on one of my other videos on screen to check out where else I've been.